So the other day I told you guys that Sadie did not like her spinner. Well, I put it on her cardboard box the other night. And when I came out in the morning, she had moved it. So she was playing with it at some point during the night. Well, she certainly fooled all of us, didn't she? I think that Sadie really likes it, and she just was embarrassed to say she liked it. Because <coughs> she likes things that spin. She has a purple thing with a yellow ball on it, and she likes to bat the yellow ball around. And that spins around in a circle inside the purple thing. So I know she likes things that spin. And she likes to just hit it lightly, the spinner, and watch it. And then she just stands there and watches it spin. I don't know how she got it all the way over from the cardboard box to the other side of the room. I guess she was really going at it. So there's a carpet, and I thought the carpet would keep her from flinging it across the room, but I was wrong. Much like how I've been wrong for my entire life. Yeah, I've never been right about anything, have I? Literally everything I say is wrong. There's no, there's, I cannot think of a single time I've ever been right about anything. So I guess Sadie didn't play with it. Well, well I, I mean, if I, if I say Sadie didn't play with it and I'm always wrong, that must mean she did play with it. But if I say she did play with it, then that must mean she didn't. But I just said both of them. And I can't, and she can't have, and there's only two things she could have done, played with it or not played with it. I can't think of anything else that she could have done beside those two things. You know, I'm not wrong about ice cream cake is good. I like it. And I'm tired. I need to go to sleep. Oh, I was writing a story on writing prompts. It was really cool. Then it looked, and I said, oh, wait, this might be against the rules. Turns out it was against the rules. I'm like, well, that was a waste of time. Somebody wanted uh, a horror story based around uh, the, a game of pool. Not the kind filled with water, the kind of the balls on it. And I'm like, ah, oh, this is... This will be, this will be, uh, it'll have a twist at the end. And then you don't look at the rules and say, uh-oh. I won't tell you which rule it would have broken. I mean, maybe it wouldn't have, but uh, I didn't want to test it. I didn't want to try it out. I said, ah, well, that was a huge waste of time. I deleted everything. It's not like I'd have anywhere else to put it. Hmm. <sighs> Uh, let's see what else is people what else are people angry about lately uh, Shadow of War has uh, loot boxes now that sucks you know in Fallout 4 if you want extra stuff you just open the game console and type it in type in whatever you want you can have anything you want you can also change the scale of any NPC. Want, <coughs> want to make them 10 times bigger? That's perfectly fine. Want to make them 10 times smaller? You can do that too. And they're very tiny. Of course, nobody notices they're smaller, so it's kind of funny. So you'd have all these little tiny people running around. Oh, I wonder what it would look like if uh, you made something really tiny and then you did the cinematic, like with the camera moved down. So, because I'm fairly certain the the placement of the camera is automatic. The the person who actually makes all of the this little cinematics just says put the camera here in relation to this character. So I don't know if the scale. I would assume that means the scale would move the camera all the way down to the ground. I should try it out and see what happens. 
There's a Fallout board game coming out. Uh, for whatever reason, nobody's complaining about how Fallout's going everywhere. There wasn't a Skyrim board game, though. Oh, well, I'm always wrong. See you guys later.